Alrighty fam, welcome back to another video. So we have the patch notes that were covered last night. Uh, we're going to run through them today. As everyone knows, we've got a new Valenti. So we're going to talk through her, how she's going to basically be the new staple, the new Rattasus Gos Gos boss, um, and basically what we want to do from there. So um, let's get stuck into it. So first things first, we can jump straight into the new character. I've got, thanks out, shout out to Reddit, who's already translated all the skills for me. So basically, she's a human and demonic beast when a hero uses a skill to damage. Remove one, debuff applied to all allies, which is awesome, and increase attack related stats by 8%, up to 40%, which is huge. Uh, when the hero uses an all target skill to damage the enemy, we apply poison, which is one of the things we obviously want to apply. And if all allies participating are different races, we increase HP related stats by 20%. So that's nice and easy. Um, we're going to have a human from Valenti because she's going to replace Merlin. We're going to have King who's a fairy. We're going to have Meliodas who's a demon. And then we're going to have Liz who is a goddess. So that's nice and easy to fulfill. So basically we get a 20% stat increase, a 40% attack increase, and she applies a poison and shock. So that's exactly what we needed to replace the Merlin. So she'll be being used. Um, and then obviously we have the, the release deals additional damage using remaining damage in shock, poison, and bleed debuffs. So... Uh, it's a release card and it's an AOE, so this will apply poison damage, and then she just has the same ultimate as usual. Damage dealt by 50% uh, and decreases damage taken by 50%, which is really, really good. Um, well, the alt is okay, but it's helpful. So this is basically the unit. So we're going to have a quick cruise through the banner, which I'm going to guess is going to be garbage. Oh, yeah, that's hot garbage. Um, the only thing in here that's probably worth anything is Blue Roxy, if you don't already have her. The rest of them is just, yeah, basically completely null and void. I think I still need Christmas Lilia. Uh, so, fingers crossed I can pull her. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Um, otherwise, yeah, she's a 600 banner. I mean, I think this is a bit of a skip, to be honest. I'll be honest with you, fam. I don't see... A reason to get her I think there's no real relics for her yet and there's a very very high chance that shield collab is coming up very shortly and is going to be next where people are going to want to spend their gems so I think she's a skip unless you're a whale and you're going to summon anyway or unless you have a very particular burning desire to finish the uh, new demonic beast before really necessary right because we only have one holy relic at the moment it's my elves and it's okay but it's nothing game breaking so um, I think she can be a pretty easy skip, um, even though, you know, she's a decent unit. Obviously, she's for the new rat boss, but yeah, I think she's a skip for for everyone free to play, I think. Now, let's have a look at this. I haven't got this translated, so I'm going to quickly find my Google Translate, and then I am going to translate this. I don't know where the heck I put it on my phone. All right. Look. So this is allies with the seven plagues, so seven catastrophes. Trait will have their base stat increased by n percent, and their attack related abilities will increase by x percent. Um, okay, cool. So basically, it's okay. That's a catastrophes unit. That's fine. There's an R and a C card in here. It's not going to be very helpful, but it's a five percent increase to both of those, so not too bad. Um, these are all the different bundles and stuff you can buy at the moment. We have an event reward login, so two UR pendants, one of these boxes. No diamonds though, uh, but a few SA coins, which is nice. Uh, oh, a disaster ticket. I wonder what that's going to be for. We've got a full free multi. Wow. <laughs> I think I'm going to get this one because I don't think I've got this one. Um... So, but that's just like, I just fill it, I just use it as a filler for box CC fam, uh, depending on what you've got and what you don't have. Um, yeah, I don't have to tell you. <laughs> it's an average, it's just not even worth it basically, but yeah, use the one to fill that you need to fill. Um, there's nothing really here that I would say is worth even particularly picking. We have the second part of the awesome spring. That makes sense. We always do. I always get the uh, unlimited infinite thingies first. Um... This mini game again, as always, gets annoying, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, all the basic materials. Yeah, nothing crazy. UR disaster tickets. Uh, okay, this is another. Is it another UR disaster ticket for this? Yeah, it is. Okay. As well as where was the other one that I saw? 
Okay, yeah, and the mission details and rewards. And then in the side mission, you'll get another one as well. Uh, and then that'll give you... Obviously, these are all the rewards you get from them as well. Um, different missions each day. The Calamities are back. This is cool. The Calamity Battle. It's a Calamity Catastrophe Battle, whatever it's called. This is cool. I enjoy doing this. This gives a few extra... Yeah, free, few free gems, which is always nice. So what's that? Eight. 24 free gems. Um, so we take that. The full outfit, I think we've... Most of us have already got, but it's still very good. Very cool. Why not? Free stuff. We love free stuff. Um, event details. Nothing kind of out of the ordinary. Spring PvP event. Yeah, that's fine. So these are just what you're rewarding from winning. Uh, brawl box. You get an awesome brawl box. Does that not look identical? Oh, these things have changed. Okay, that's nice, I guess, but not too much difference. And then we've had a special training ESP yeah, dungeon a bit update. Oh, thank God. This is actually needed. This actually needs to be moved here. I never understood while it was on the main screen, so that's really nice, that movement and that shift, now that that's on there. Looks like equipment's gone down the bottom. Um, and I, so the, there is a bit of shuffling. So final boss has come up here. I don't know where Brawl's gone. Brawls disappeared. Change the range of some contents. So yeah, it's complete. I think it's right. So there's that. There's the boss. Equipment's down the bottom. Demon Lord, Knighthood, Creature, PvP, Brawls gone. Training. First stage. That's dropped down. That's dropped down. Yeah, okay, so we're missing uh missing the, the brawl. Um Ah, okay, cool. So they're unifying the key system make a little bit different and increase the maximum number of friendship coins held that's actually kind of nice so 5,000 is actually quite a nice little uh, quality of life change so I don't actually hate this this is actually not too bad um, peaceful journey wandering night okay so just a few kind of quality of life fixes okay nice I don't mind that so that's good I think uh, the new unit is a skip for most people um, she'll be helpful, of course, in Demonic Beast, but I don't see it really being anything too valuable that we that we need at the moment. We've got a few new boss things. We've got the Catastrophes bosses back and a, and a couple of little mini games. Nothing crazy, stuff we've seen before, but not too bad overall. Free few diamonds, couple, and a free few units. So, uh, are you guys summoning on the new Valenti? Let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, that's kind of it. That's the wrap. So, we'll be getting that on Monday or Tuesday for Global. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.